Hey everybody, it's been a long while, but we are back with another commission build for a homie of mine that loves his work so much that he wanted a board to be in his office. He works in a pretty loud environment as well, so the sound doesn't really matter, so today's not going to be a silent build, but it was more for the form factor. Before we get to the board, we have the top mount screws already displayed, case and plate foams, and three plates, which are Alu, FR4, and PC. The PCB is actually already mill maxed to have a non-mirrored number pad so that the plus and enter keys are located on the inner part of the assembly rather than hugging the edge of the board. Today we have the SPV1 which is a south paw 75% with a fixed 7U win keyless bottom row and designed by Debisaromi and friends. The group buy and the in stock actually was sold on Canon keys and there are some extras right now I believe A- minus stock only will be using Uche Studios screw-ins. I only bought a non-full set, so I had to just use two Durag V2 stabs because I forgot to take into account of the amount. I was excited to have this project brought up to me because I think that Southpaw boards are very niche, I guess, depending on what you do for work or just if you really like the layout. But ergonomically, it's a lot better for those working with numbers such as Excel or data entry. Since this board was top mount only, I actually decided to opt to use the PC plate as well so that the long pole switches that we'll be using, which are the B-Sun X switches, have that nice deep sound signature and it also it's really what the client wanted as well. The board sits at a nice 8 degree typing angle with an 18.8 millimeter front height, which is not terrible at all considering that it has 10 millimeter top and bottom bezels, which some could still benefit using a wrist rest if need be. I unfortunately forgot to document this, but I would also consider force breaking the board since we're looking at the case right now by putting some blue painter's tape on the bottom case where the screw holes are, which would mitigate any unwanted case resonance and hollowness. Coupled by that, I still use the case foam anyway. Like I mentioned before, this is a top mount only board and we're going to be using the B-Sun X switches which are lubed in film with desk keys and 205. Me personally, if I were to rebuild it, I would obviously go with Alu and MX Blacks. I'm pretty basic when it comes to that, but maybe that could be saved for a later day. Nonetheless, let's listen to how this keyboard sounds and this is also after the force break. I completely understand the appeal for the board, uh, especially with it being a southpaw 75% with the numpad on the left, which has so many different configurations that you can make it. Um, and I think that southpaw, southpaw board should be more readily available for those that are working a lot with numbers or just those that really like the layout. Let me know what you guys think of the board, how it sounds and everything like that. Are you interested in any Southpaw? Would you ever buy one? Let me know down in the comments below. Let's get some conversations going, all right? So hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys soon.